I'm just actually applying those extra onto my face. How will my first date go if I appear like this? Hmm? Hmm? Hi guys, this is Gwen here and welcome back to my channel. So in today's review post, I will be actually doing a milk peel cream mask from Artia. I'm actually excited to give this milk peel cream mask a try. It's actually AHA, BHA with like those like milk bubbles exfoliating. I've never tried a milk uh, peeling mask that comes from the ingredient milk so I'm actually excited to give this milk peel cream mask a try so on Artia website it actually the website that claims to say that this milk peel cream milk peeling creaming milk peeling cream mask is supposed to make your skin feel much more moisturized after you has finished it's actually a very gentle exfoliator containing AHA and BHA ingredient and I'm actually now in Phuket I'll be in Phuket for like 21 days now it's day 5 but I have some like breakouts you can see over here it's basically very dry over here now it can be sunny and raining in Phuket right now and the air is kind of polluted I say so my skin is like not reacting or coping well with the environment here and I actually run out of my usual Innisfree red wine peeling gels can feel that there's like flaky like dead skin that's causing all this so I'll give this a try and I'll see how it goes and let's get started shall we? Since now I'm in Phuket or uh, Thailand I'm actually looking into purchasing some makeup and skincare that is made in Thailand from a Thailand product so if you have any recommendation you can comment down below okay so it's like in this cute little blue bottle baby blue bottle so it comes as in a palm type bottle which is a plus point in my opinion uh, as compared to those like tub where you have to it's not that hygienic right you know those clay masks is in a tub form I actually um, have this preference for palm bottle like I said before it's much more hygienic so let's wet, wet our face first you can see the texture here it isn't what I expected it's more of like the most type you can, can I don't know whether you guys can hear the sound it's quite like a whipped cream and smells wise it is, I would expect like a very strong milk scent but not really just like a light Johnson baby powder smell so on the web they say that you simply wet your face Squeeze a few palm and apply it directly. Ooh, can you hear the sound? It's like turning into foam. Like when you squeeze your hair mousse out, definitely this is one mask that you do not want to, you know, like scoop it out or squeeze it out and take your time to apply because nope. It change, transform quite quick, and then leave it on for about thirty to sixty seconds for the product to work its magic. And then you can see how easy it actually works out into like a foam type. Having said that, like to be honest, this is actually one of the easiest clay mask I've ever applied because it's like after once you apply immediately after you can see how this clay watery texture foam up you can actually hear this slight sizzling soft drink you know when you pour soft drink there's a sizzling sound actually coming up from the mask and this is where I know actually it's actually working its way to go 
go deep into my pores to remove the dead skin cells that has been accumulating on my face. I don't actually feel any... You do like tingling but it doesn't stink your face, the sensation. It's, and it do feel comfortable <clears throat> on my face and I'm actually enjoying this mask. It's beyond what I would expect from a clay mask, a bit kind of messy but nope, it isn't. What do you do now? Like you can see this is like after 30 to 60 seconds. So shall wash off now. Mm. Oh I'm not sure whether you guys notice but my skin tone, especially like this side, it does feels lighter in colour okay so notice that if it like gets into your hair it's kind of a little bit hard to remove so be careful that way maybe you want to wear a headband when you apply and yeah you can see there's a very big difference between the skin tone oh my god should I actually just now I could should have done this on my neck too so it's got two different skin tones so after washing i do notice that my skin is whiter it feels moisturized and my acne the redness is isn't as red as earlier uh, but one thing i do notice is that it does feel a little bit dry over here i have like dry cheek so for those people who have like dry skin type you might actually want to skip this as a daily cleanser even though it's gentle you may actually I would actually recommend you to use it once or twice a week instead and for those people who have oily skin I don't think this is an issue for you to use it like every other alternate days but one point to note is I would want to say that do remember to take a small patch test when you buy this before you apply your skin because everybody's skin condition is different so results may differ as of now as a first impression of the Artia um, Milk Peel Cream Mask I would give it a thumbs up it's worth a try for all K-Beauty Holy colleagues out there so yeah and that's all for today review post I hope you have enjoyed this review post and found it useful. As of now, I shall see you in my next review post. And if you have enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe for more information when I upload like new videos. And that's all for today.